Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another what's for dinner video. I've got four delicious meals to share with you. And I'm not just saying that, um, sometimes we just have, you know, we have good food, but it's all just quick, simple, easy, whatever. These are um, very simple. Some of these are very quick, but in my opinion, these are exceptional. So I hope that you enjoy them. Let's get started. All right, so for tonight's dinner, we're gonna have some chicken legs. Um, I was going to have my husband grill them, but he had just stuff going on and I didn't really wanna wait for him to be like done with what he was doing to get dinner going. So we're just gonna do them in the oven. These usually come out really good. So I am just going to season them with salt, actually no, not salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and then I'm gonna do paprika and just a little bit of cayenne pepper. And then um, I'll bake them in the oven at 425. They'll probably take 40 minutes all together, but I will probably, I'll take them out after 20 and um, flip them and then I will put some barbecue sauce for the remainder of the time. And then I think I'm just gonna make up salads. I don't know, I'll check with Justin and see if he wants to do anything else with dinner, but I think we're just gonna do some barbecue chicken legs and salad. Super, super simple for tonight. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes, a little longer, because I was in the middle of dishes when it, the timer went off. We're going to, wow. We're gonna try to flip them over. Okay, I'm trying anyway. Um, I wasn't going to season, wow guys. I wasn't going to season the other side, but now I think I'm going to. We're just gonna do the same onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and a little bit of cayenne. These are smelling amazing. All right, we're just gonna put on some barbecue sauce. I feel like there's a lot of noise in my house. I don't know if you can hear that, but my husband is upstairs doing something with music. I saw him like an hour ago when he said, I'm just gonna go up and put on some sacks. And I think he got lost in music in his office. This is the barbecue sauce that I'm using. This is a seasonal barbecue sauce that Aldi has. And I usually stock up on it in the summer so that I have it all year round. Okay, we're gonna put this back in the oven for about another 20 minutes or until they're done. All right, that's all there is to it. I did do it about 40 minutes all together. And here are our salads. And that's dinner for tonight. All right, tonight's easy dinner is going to be burgers and tater tots. <laughs> so I just have a pound of ground beef. I'm going to season with some garlic powder. I always mix ground uh, meat with, I'm using, goodness gracious, my words are hard today. <laughs> if I have to really get in there with meat, I'm gonna use gloves because it just grosses me out and I don't like picking it out from underneath my fingernails. Um, but also my hands are really dry and so um, another reason why I don't want to be touching it. So I'm just doing some garlic powder, onion powder, some Worcestershire sauce, and then my husband suggested we have just a little bit of this in the fridge. What is it? Mexican style cheese. We're going to mix those in too. I'm not saying that I won't be putting cheese on my burgers later because I also may be doing that. I haven't decided. And that's all I'm adding in to mine. Don't want to over mix it. And I'm going to put, uh, send these out to Jesse to grill. He's outside washing the car, so I don't know that it's time yet, but I'm going to get them ready. 
I'm gonna try to do them nice and flat because they always pucker up too much. <laughs> and then we end up with a little ball. So if you can hear it, you might be able to. It's got the pressure washer going out there. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Another little dent in the middle is supposed to help too. I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to do the tater tots. If you saw my grocery haul, um, my last grocery haul, I wanted to pick them up at the store, but Aldi was out and I wasn't sure if I had any in the freezer, but I went out to my freezer in the garage and found some. So I was excited. That is always the reminder to me, like this is why I buy stuff ahead of time because when I wanted them, the store was out of them and I already had some. So now they will go on my grocery list next week and hopefully I'll find them this week or, you know, this next time and have them, you know, have more backup. That's my goal. We each made our burgers to our own liking. I did add cheese, even though I, there was already cheese in the beef. But anyways, that is our simple, easy summer dinner for tonight. Tonight's easy peasy dinner is a favorite of ours, which is basically anything with buffalo chicken. Jesse had mentioned when I was asking for his help on my meal plan, he said buffalo chicken nachos would be great. And thankfully, I had chicken in my freezer. Um, these are super thin chicken breasts, so they should not take very long to cook, but you can use leftover chicken. You could put it in your crock pot earlier in the day. Anyways, um, I don't think I actually said what we were having. We're going to have buffalo chicken nachos. Did I say that? Guys, I don't remember. Anyways, I just seasoned with some onion powder and garlic powder, and I'm just going to use this Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I actually didn't realize they had the actual Frank's. I usually have an off-brand. I wonder when I got this. Anyway. You can use buffalo sauce, like an actual buffalo sauce, but we're just gonna cook this in the oven and then we're going to make ourselves some nachos. Such an easy dinner. We also eat it straight off of the sheet pan. However, um, if I say there's more people eating it, you can serve it up on the plates. But um, anyways, we're gonna get this in the oven. I'm just cooking it till it's done. I have the oven set to 400. I'm guessing 15 minutes because they're not very thick.
All right, here it is, all fresh out of the oven. We put the meat and cheese on, put it in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then we put on some lettuce and tomato. I put bacon on my side because I one time had a buffalo chicken wrap that had bacon in it and it was so good. So I like to add that on. And then Jesse put some blue cheese on his side, a little bit of ranch on mine. Yeah, Just gonna eat it right off here. Oh yeah, he put onions on his side. And we're gonna eat it right off the tray. We are once again eating outside. It's a beautiful night. Tonight's dinner, we are making homemade orange chicken. It's not hard. It is a little bit of extra steps, but it is so worth it. It's been a while since I made it and we're due. So I will have the recipe linked down below. I have cut up my, um, I was using chicken tenderloins, but you can use chicken breasts. And this is an optional step that the recipe suggested. And I remember using it when I made this the first time. So I'm adding in two tablespoons of white vinegar and one teaspoon of baking soda. And you're supposed to let this sit for about 10 minutes and this helps to tenderize the meat. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll be back in just a few minutes. I probably won't wait a full 10 minutes. I'm just gonna get a few ingredients around um, and then we'll be back. Now to the chicken, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of orange juice. We'll give that a toss here real quick. I did put on my apron because we're gonna be frying some food. And I'm putting it in a deeper pot, but I'm still wearing an apron. <laughs> I've got one teaspoon of paprika, and then the recipe calls for two teaspoons of garlic salt. I just did a combo of garlic and salt. And now we need to add in one cup of flour. It's almost half a cup. Two cups, not two cups. That was two half cups. We got one cup. And now we're going to just toss this to coat. And then we're gonna go move over. I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna move over to the stove and begin frying. If I had different cookware, probably wouldn't take as many steps, but I do want, you don't wanna overcrowd the pan and I don't have, I just use a deep pot so I can, can only fit so many in the bottom of it. Um, so it takes, you know, a few batches. Um, but it is so worth the effort, guys. This is totally, totally worth the effort. I've already got rice going back here. We're gonna turn our pot on here. I'm just using, yeah, a pot. We're gonna turn that on to high heat. I just realized, I do not know how I let that happen. I do not have a backup avocado oil in my pantry. So if I have to, I'll add in some extra virgin olive oil, but I'm gonna use, I'm probably gonna have to, cause there's probably, I don't know, quarter cup, half a cup. I like to use avocado oil. You can use other oils, but it's just a healthier oil. It's good at a um, high temperature. So we're gonna let this heat up a little bit. I'm gonna check one more time for more avocado oil in my pantry. All right, so I don't. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of olive oil because I do want this to be, you know, deep enough here. We're gonna let this heat up nice and hot and then we'll start cooking the meat. It's gonna get loud in here, so I may end up doing voiceover for some of it, but here we go. All right, I dropped a little bit of flour in there. I think that's how you check to see if it's hot enough. <laughs> I don't know. As I'm pulling the meat out, I am gonna just make sure that I get pieces coated in flour. There's a little bit of flour at the bottom of the bowl that I'll be able to utilize as I go. Okay, pretty good, sizzling up. We are going to drop these in here. We wanna cook them for, uh, what was it? Five to six minutes, turning them once. So that's what we're going to do. Didn't totally cut these perfectly even, but that is okay. And we're gonna do that until we're all done. All right. We're gonna call that good. I wasn't even fully showing you. Sorry guys, it's really hard to do two things at once, especially when you have hot oil and you're scared of burning yourself. <laughs> All right, it's getting loud, but it's time to turn them. There we go. 
It's easier if I don't have to hold the camera, but I don't feel like I can safely put this in a tripod in proximity to this oil. So. While we work on the chicken, we're going to start working on the sauce just so we're ready for it. I've already got one cup of water in here. We're gonna add in one cup of distilled light vinegar. We're gonna add in a teaspoon of salt. So the recipe calls for one and a quarter cup of sugar and then six tablespoons of soy sauce. I use the coconut aminos, which is sweeter than soy sauce. So I think I'm just going to cut this down to about three quarters cup. Ooh, that chicken is frying. Maybe just a hair more. And then we're gonna add in six tablespoons of the coconut aminos. Give that a good stir, and then this will be ready when we need it. I'm always surprised at how little orange juice is in orange chicken. Two tablespoons is all we use. Although I may add a splash into here, I think I will. So I'm gonna do that when I have a break in the frying, but just know that I'm gonna add just a splash of orange juice there, just cause I want to, not because you need to. So I remembered something else. So I will show you here, putting just a little bit of OJ, but then I also wanted to add in some crushed red pepper flakes. Um, that is not in the recipe, but I thought that this, the sauce would be a good place to do that. So that's what I'm doing. All right, now we're good on the sauce. Still working on the chicken. All right, so when I got done frying all of the chicken, I um, poured out the grease, put the chicken in here and poured the sauce on it. And I've been letting it boil for about 10 minutes. You want the uh, sauce to reduce and thicken up. And then I also steamed up some broccoli. So we are about to plate this up. I'm so excited. So we're eating ours just all piled together in a bowl. And there you have it. That's dinner for tonight. All right, so before I close this video, I just have to say that orange chicken did not disappoint. A little messy with the grease and whatever. It takes a little bit of time frying it in batches. Totally worth it if you enjoy any of that kind of stuff. To me, it's better than any Chinese takeout I've gotten. I absolutely love it. Okay, that's it. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any recipes will be linked down below when I have them. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out whatever videos I've got linked here for you. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.